Hey folks, I'm back. It's me, Matt Mitchell, aka the People's Coach, aka your host and speaker for today. Now, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about a better way of saying no. Now, check this out. I'm sure at some point, at some phase, at some stage in our life that we've said no to someone or someone has said no to us. Now, let me tell you something. Sometimes in life we have to say no, we have to be firm and frank but be fair at the same time. I'm here to tell you a new discovery, something that I've discovered for myself. Sometimes it's not a good idea to say no first and foremost because it can come across quite frank, it can come across, sorry, it can come across quite abrupt. No. Can I do this? No. What do you mean? No, I said no, uh, 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 no, without reason. That's the difference because sometimes when we say no, we can disempower someone. We can just shut them up. And what happens when we shut them up? They tend to rebel against our word when we have said no. We may know best what is better for them in a certain particular situation, but they may rebel, and when they do rebel, they're likely to go against what you've said. Now, what do you do when you, especially when you've said no to someone and you're trying to get, trying to warn them, you're trying to give them a bit of advice, and you said don't do that, but yet they go against your will. What do you do in, in these types of situations? Well, people, we have to give reasons why we say no because when we say no, it can come across quite negative. But when we give reasons, then they're more likely to listen to what you have to say because now that you've improved that you've increased their understanding and their awareness of the reasons why you are saying no this is the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention people think about it how many times have someone said no to you and you went against them you went against what they have said I don't want you doing this no they've not even given you the reason they've not even given you the whys the pros and the cons they just said no and locked you up Clear cut, simple as that. And what happens, especially with children, parent and child relationship, they, re they will rebel against what you have said. They will re rebel against your words of you saying no. So people, try and look for a better way of saying no. Rather than saying no, you could say things like, okay, let's talk about it. Tell me your own perspectives. T tell me your understandings. And then I can tell you why that I have said no. Let's, let's come to a mutual agreement. Let's meet halfway. Let's sort something out. There's so many different words you can use apart from saying no. The opposite of no is to say yes, but have a condition. Yes, I will allow you to do this, but, but you have to do this and this such and such for me. I hope I've made myself clear. When we say no to someone, especially when they come to us with an idea, no, nope, I don't see that working, no, nope, forget it. You can really, really cause harm to their confidence. You can really shut them up and break them down. The more times that you say no, 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 the more you will lose that bond and that relationship with that someone, especially if that's your spouse, your nearest, nearest loved one, whether it be your friend, family, or colleague at work, or your employer. So people, therefore, try and look for a better way of saying no. Reason is the key, right here, right now, at this very stage and time, moment of the day. People, I do apologise for that sudden interruption, that is my son, my baby son, sitting in front of me on the bouncer. So, I hope that's been insightful, take it on board, let me know what you think, until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused. And always live to learn to power and inspire the lives of many, as well as yourself. Bye for now.